Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is the 13th of July and this is on Tuesday. So can you hear me? Can you see me clear? So this is my new apartment in Dubai. So finally, I have moved into this new apartment from today. And, but right now, there's only decks and some uh, screens and also some shelves. So I need to do some shopping tonight also. And this is, and that's why this is not the live stream, but this is a recorded video session, so that at least I can share the the market views for today. Looks like there's no much of uh, moves in the market on higher time frames on the forex pairs, but um, let me see what's happening in there. So hopefully now you enjoy. Hopefully you enjoy the the analysis and also the views in the background. So let me squeeze my face and start to do my analysis. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this information today is um, based on my own understanding and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk management. Okay, so I will screen the pairs quickly in the daily chart and the forward chart and see if you see any trends or interesting market uh, situations. So starting from Euro USD, uh, this is flat ranging for the last three days, so not much of moves. Euro AUD is also retracing backwards in flat. And uh, Euro Pound, I see Euro Pound is still bearish, as I talked yesterday on this particular pair, because this is still descending P wave, and I'm expecting the market breaks the support at 0 0.8530 area. Let me move it to the weekly time frame. Um, as you can see here, weekly chart is still going down. Weekly Kumo's going down, Kijun Sen going down, price below the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo, and Chikou Span below the candles. So this is bearish, and I expect the market continuously go down afterwards. So I keep an eye on this one also. And today there is a CPI report in Germany, so Euro could be affected by the news and it might go bearish afterwards. We'll see. Um, but let's see. Euro is uh, now consolidating for the last three days after this huge drop down on the 8th of July. And this is an engulfing structure and it's been ranging. so. Looks like the market is charging its energy for the next move. If it breaks down the previous support at zero, uh, sorry, 1.0824 level, then that might be a good, good sell chance, but we'll see. Uh, it might not happen today. Um, data pair is also very flat ranging. Yeah, looks like it's been very difficult to tra trade today. Pound JPY also um, uh, ranging too. The price is exactly in the Kumo now. Let me check forward chart. In forward chart, this is also flat, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikospan touching, and there is no direction. Yeah, looks like the uh, other pairs are also flat. Um, AUD USD looks to be flat, but this is bearish. Kumo Kijun Sen flat, but the price has been um, resisted by the Tenkan Sen once and twice and three times. So um, it could go down this way. But still, this is still very uh, not active in the market. So even if you sell at some point, uh, you might not going to be able to run profit so quickly. So simply, I stay away in this kind of condition. And other pairs are not really active today. So let me go to the gold. Okay, so here's gold in the daily chart and it looks like this is also ranging because the price is exactly in the Kumo now and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat too. Um, the price has been bullish somehow in the short term as Tenkan Sen shows its bullishness. In this short term, this is bullish but uh, in the mid to long term, this is flat. So that means we never know which way it goes in the future. So uh, yeah, I would better stay away. You, can, you might be scalping, you might be scalped to buy, but uh, 
um, the market might not gonna go so high still. So we'll see. What about the oil? Uh, crude oil, crude oil is, uh, is flat now. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat also. The market is retracing, consolidating right now. So there is no trend. So I guess, uh, yeah, today is a time to stay away. Let me quickly cover the news for today. We have an, one news on Euro, one news in US. So every time you take trades, uh, please watch news because news can affect the market so heavily. So here is the news at 6, 6 a.m. in UT's time zone. There is a Euro CPI report in Germany. And also, uh, later part, uh, there is another CPI report in the US. So, yeah, if you're much market, then you have to watch out carefully for this news coming out because it can affect it very spike. It can, uh, it can make the market very spiky. But uh, other than that, I guess it's time to stay away. So as a Forex trader myself has been full-time Forex trader and Forex trade is, is my main source of income. Um, when, when I see the market's been ranging like this way, then simply I do something else. I don't stick to charts because there's not much of moves. So oftentimes I read books and I watch movies. Sometimes I talk to my, my friends and family and I enjoy my life. Um, and simply come back to chart maybe tomorrow or uh, the day after tomorrow when the market becomes active again. So as a full-time job trader, uh, myself, um, before becoming full-time, I thought that I'm gonna ha be having opportunities like every day to take trades, but now uh, I don't think like that. Uh, I, I follow the trends and I will be in the trades whenever the market goes towards the direction in the higher time frames in daily chart or forward chart trending markets, then I simply I watch charts. But uh, when I see any, when I don't see any trends in higher time frames, daily or forward charts, then simply I stay away. So um, like uh, this one, two pound JPY is also flat ranging. The Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat price exactly in the Kumo too. So um, you might think that this is bearish because as I capture here, this is like descending P wave, but um, we never know. Um, it might go down, but it might go up, it might break, the descending trend line and might be in the range and we don't know which way it's going. And when there's uncertainty in the market like this, then simply stay away is the key. You can backtest your strategy by running Forex Tester or um, you can uh, watch charts in the past. You can review your trading journal and find a part to improve your trades like that. So, uh, and you can prepare yourself when the market becomes active again. And it will become active again uh, because it's forex pairs and the market just goes up and down uh, every week. So yeah, when you see the flatness, flatness in the market like this in a daily chart or forward chart, then uh, no rush. This is where you have to be patient and uh, just be relaxed and wait for it. the next big wave comes in. So simply that's what I have to say for today's markets. All right, so thank you for watching. This is it for today's video session, but hopefully uh, it works, uh, the video and also the microphone. And I will be doing the live streams and also video sessions on my YouTube channel every day from this new location. So I will look forward to seeing you again. So everyone, please have a great day and Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.